Yeah. We be on them highways. Tell them be cool, we on the byways. Bring out the word, they looking sideways. Oh, oh. God, I don't do it my way, way. Part of the I don't do this my way I hold a six man Demons rolling up I'm about to fix that Scoffer about to talk I got the word for him I ain't even know I even heard from him Scripture's coming out, it ain't no word from him. Ah, uh, as soon as I pull out the laws, they run away. You was laughing, he gon' laugh at your collab. So, God says that we are to wear fringe. Now, you said you didn't know that one, right? No, I ain't know Okay, that. good, good, good. That's fine. So now, you gotta start applying that, right? The fringe? Yeah. Oh, y'all got fringe? Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Okay, okay, yes. Right, so, because yeah. listen, because listen, one thing about yeah. the congregation, I don't know, because you said we, we, you may have had a different, right, right, yes, sir. What we do, what we pride ourselves at IUIC is that we are going to teach and keep the commandments. Because only when you do both will you receive salvation. You understand that? You're only going to get in by keeping the commandments. Matthew 7 and 21. Yep. Because the last thing we want for our yep. people yep. is to not receive the kingdom. Right. We want to be we want to be found righteous servants when, yep. when Christ cracked the sky. Yep. Yep. All right, listen good. The book of Matthew chapter seven and verse twenty one. Yep. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, or Yah Yah, yeah. yep. yep. read, yep. shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. So guess what? There's going to be many people in that day that believe that they were doing the right thing. Read. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is what's the will of God? Bring it out. The will of God. Yeah. Let me keep the commandments, y'all. Huh? I'm going to keep the commandments, okay. give it to you. I want Because I want to make sure you're keeping the scripture. You got you, it? How come you read that Bible that's saying, Lord, Book of Psalms, God, chapter 40, and verse 8. Get your sacred holy I delight book. to do thy will, oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. Thy what? Thy law is within my heart. So the will of God is the keeping of the commandments. You see that? Yep. Now you said something about the words. You had a problem with the words that's being mentioned? Oh, the words of God? Yeah. Um, well, I, 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 I follow pretty much what the Bible says. But I, I, I just like to go back to learn because, see, a lot of them told me we use the Old Testament just for our learning. But see, a lot of they ain't learned from it though, you know what I'm saying? Because uh -huh. they went they won't run straight to grace in the old in the New Testament. Right. And they don't but but you said you said something about the Lord and God and you have an issue oh, well, with I, that? Yeah, I call because that ain't his name. Huh? Okay, it's like this. What's your name? My name is OC. OC. Well, no, right. what they ain't no name? That's an issue. That's just like calling him Lord. No, What's OC. OC -E. really your name? Yeah. Okay, okay. Let's say your name OC. Right. OC, sure. if you go to China, what you want me to call you? OC. Huh? You want to call you OC, right? Right, right. If you go to France, what you want me to call you? OC. That's what I'm saying. So, so why, why we got to pull him out of Israel when we come here to America? We got to call him Jesus. That right. ain't his name. Okay. Not only the name his name. Right. The letter J didn't even exist for mm. 500 years ago. Right, 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 right. So it was never his name. Gotcha. It still ain't his name. I agree. We're going to do everything in Jesus' name. Right. That's why. I got so you. I'm glad you got that. And get Isaiah 55 real quick. Okay, now guess what? I'm glad you're here. Okay. Now, guess what? I'm glad you're here. What you're saying is yeah. absolutely correct I'm glad you're here. in a carnal mindset. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, we got to understand when we're dealing with God, the yeah. Father, yeah. and yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ, his yeah. son, who is the first creation uh -huh. Uh -huh. of the uh -huh. Most High, does he roll? Does he have the same understanding that we do? Of course you don't have the same understanding we do. All right. Because guess what? Jesus, who created that word? Ultimately. Oh, who, who created Jesus? Bring it out. Who created it? Well, Jesus, Bring it out. it just came around. No, 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 no. I, I get that. He created it. Right. And who did? And the white man created it. And who controls him? Bring it out. Satan. Satan controls him? Satan controls him. And who Satan get his orders from? Who, uh, who we get orders from? Yeah. Who we get orders from Satan? Because you sure don't follow God. Ah, we're going we gonna to dive into all that. Bring, 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 all right, good. Let's go to Isaiah 55 first. Bring it out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 55 and verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts. You yeah. understand? This is the same thing I told them. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We got to understand, when we come into the Bible, this Bible is not a carnal book. It's a spiritual book. Because like you said, 
You said, if I go to China yep. and you call on me, yep. yeah, I'm going to need you to speak yep. in uh, my name the way I know it. Because guess what? Yep. I don't know Mandarin, yep. which is the language of China. Yep. So if you yep. say my name in Mandarin, yep. I might not respond. Yep. Yep. Psalms 19 and 3. Yep. But when Bring you're dealing up. with yep. the Most High in Christ, yep. uh -huh. they created the languages. When you read Genesis okay. chapter 10, so, so who separated saying, the people? So you're saying you're okay with Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because who created it? Who, 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 who created the languages? Oh, uh, uh, well, well, I said, hey, 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 uh, God, God, Abraham, Abraham. Who created the languages? Read it out. Uh, all the animals. Uh, God, God, uh, here we go. Language. Let's get it. I'm going to read the scripture for you. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 3. There is no speech nor language. There is no what? No speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Mm. So understand. Right, right, right. So the first thing I want you to understand, there's no speech or language where Jesus, or, 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 who we know is Jesus, right? who I call Jesus, and who you call Yeshua, Muhammad Shiat. Read it again. You know it. <laughs> there is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. So understand, no matter where you call them and what language, tongue, or, or land you're in, he's going to hear you. Yes, right. You understand that? But guess who we? Guess who he's not going to hear? Who you going to hear? Sinner. John 9 and 31. Bring it out. No matter if you got the purest language on the face of the earth. Because guess what? When our people were brought into captivity, and during Bab the Babylonian captivity, when the temple was burnt, uh -huh. were they speaking the language? You know, I don't know. I wasn't there. They were speaking the language. Yeah, I assume they were. We were in the land. Uh -huh. And guess what? They still got taken out. Uh -huh. That's right. And the temple still got destroyed. Right. right. Because they were not obedient to right. God's laws. Right. Right. Listen good. The book of John, chapter 9, verse 31. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. No, not the J. Not sinners. But maybe if they speak Hebrew. Not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. So only those that keep the commandments. You understand? Now, I'm going to give you another example of that. John 19 and 19. Because you said he won't hear you. But guess what? What happened to the children of Israel? Because you said you're Old Testament scholar. What happened to the children of Israel throughout the Old Testament? Well, throughout the Old Testament? Yes. I mean, um, as a Hamite. I, I, I know what I mean. I, 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 I think it's the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, yeah. Like uh huh. Well, they got, they got, they kind of scattered. There you go. There you go. Perfect. So when they scattered, when they scattered, what happened to their culture? We got, it pretty much got terminated. Right. See, they lost it. So, so what did they do if they got scattered to Brazil? What language did they speak? Well, they, they, of course, they, 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 they well, it all depends. Some of them, some of them, uh, you know, they, they, they evolved, they, uh, they adapted, they, 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 they assimilated. Uh -huh. All of them assimilated. Right, not everybody. Not everybody assimilated. But I understand what you're saying. Yes. I understand what you're saying. They, they, went, they changed it to Spanish. There you go. There you go. Isaiah 28. Assimilated. Isaiah 28. Uh -huh. Great. So now you understand that, because guess what? A lot of people don't have that understanding. Mm -hmm. But since you have that understanding, what we're going to bring out should make a lot more sense to you. You understand? Go ahead, go ahead. So if we, if we understand we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, as you read in Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27, it said you'll be scattered to the four corners of the earth. And us being the prophets, when we come back to get those children of Israel, guess what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to speak in those languages. All right? You got it? The book of Isaiah, chapter 28, and verse 11. Uh -huh. For with stammering lips in another tongue. Listen good, listen good. This is the, the, the instructions that was given to us. Read. For with stammering lips in another tongue, uh -huh. will he speak to this people? Will he what? Will he speak to this people? So understand, with stammering lips in another tongue, meaning another what? Another language. Another language. Will he what? Speak to this people. Will he speak to these people? People. You understand? So no matter where they were scattered, there you go. Come at you in the language you don't, you don't there you go. There you go. All praise to the most high. Okay, good, 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 good. Now I want to show you John 19. John chapter 19 and verse 19. And Pilate wrote a title, title and put it on the cross, and the writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. This title then read many of the Jews. For the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh to the city. So, understand, when Christ, when Christ was crucified, right? When Christ was crucified, on his, uh, on the, on the on cross, they put his name up there. Right, listen good. And it was written in Hebrew. And his name was written what? In Hebrew, Greek, in Greek, in what? In Greek. Now this was during this time, his name was written in Hebrew, Greek, in Greek, uh-huh. And Latin. His name was 
in three different languages. Bring it out. Why? Yep. Showing you that the Jews uh -huh. spoke in different languages, uh -huh. even at that time. Well, he wasn't on no, no, no. You, you understand that? On the tree. Right. When it yeah. says hung on a tree, all that means is that's what it was made out of. Yeah. It was made out of wood. No, it was a tree. Huh? It was a tree. It was literally a tree. Okay. Because I said, where the Roman did was the picture. They didn't hang you on a cross. Like, they hung you, you on You sure? You research it. I have. Well, then you should know. It's it, a it, tree. When it, listen, when it says a tree, it's just talking about the wood. It's talking about the wood. Because I, I read I read that before, too. Because, like you said, he wasn't the only person that got crucified. That was a way, that was capital punishment during the time of Rome. And they did it on an actual cross. It was a cross. Because the scripture says he was on a cross, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that as, as that yoke. You know the yoke between the cows? Right. I'm thinking they had a yoke on this show. Right. And they nailed that yoke to a tree. Right. It, it stimulated the cross. I got you. Up I got you. But he was hung on the tree. Yeah. He wasn't carrying no cross. He was carrying a yoke the way okay. I Okay. Good. Yeah. Hey, yeah. all I know, guess what? Whatever whatever he was on, yeah. Yeah. it was for the children of Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. You understand right. that? We agree upon that? Right. Now, I want to get back to you Bring receiving on. salvation. Good. Matthew 7. You got Matthew 7? Because I want to finish that. I want you to understand we got to keep God's laws to receive salvation. Yes, yes sir. Since you still follow along over there, I know we don't went through a lot. What's your nationality? There you go. All praise. All praise. Make sure you follow along. The book of Matthew, chapter 7, and verse 21. Uh, now everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Uh -huh. So, remember we covered the will. What was the will of God? To do what? To keep the commandments. So only them that keep the commandments are going to enter into the kingdom. Read. Verse 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord. Have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. He will say what? I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You see that, brother? In that day, he's going to say to those individuals that do not keep the commandments, he's going to say, depart from me, I never knew you, ye workers of iniquity. What is iniquity? Iniquity, bring it to me. Uh, Psalms 38 and 18. But I want to make sure we understand the words that Christ is using and what they mean. All right. The book of Psalms, chapter 38 and verse 18. For I will declare mine iniquity. For I will declare mine iniquity. Read. I will be sorry for my sin. I will what? I will be sorry for my sin. So the workers of sin will not enter in through the kingdom of heaven. You understand that? Now, I mentioned fringes earlier, right? Yeah, I got the fringes. So you know you got to do that, right? Yeah, I got to get the fringes. Okay, all praise. Okay, all praises to the most high. You see that? Hey, as long as you're able to admit it, you're good. Oh, yeah, I know. Acts 3 and 19. I'm getting there. All praise to the most high. Now, let me ask you this. How long have you been studying? I've been studying now about a year. Okay, all praise. Yeah. How'd you come into the understanding? You know, I, um, actually, I, I was going on, um, I was Googling. Uh-huh. I was YouTubing. Right. I was pretty much focused in, in eating. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, uh, understanding back in the, what to say, how the way you're supposed to eat. Right, right. And then right. as you, you, you start researching in that area, right. stuff starts coming in. All praise. Then you start researching, you start digging, you start looking, you start right. seeking, and then you start getting some better understanding. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons.
IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.